ABS, welcome to the premiere of When Harry Tries to Marry. I'm very excited, a little, a little bit nervous, but very excited and very proud to be here. Yeah, with this entire cast and crew, it's, a, it's been a wonderful and exciting experience from day one. So it's wonderful to come full circle with it. When two people get married at a younger age, they have time to grow and accept each other's idiosyncrasies. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr. Shankar. <laughs> Playing Harry, it's kind of like looking in the mirror. So um, a lot of the ways he reacts, the way he acts in certain situations, some of his philosophies, it's, it's something that I uh, very much can relate to. Arranged marriages don't sound romantic, but have a very low risk of divorce. Please, darling, you're just going through a phase. This is my first, so it's pretty difficult for someone who's such a novice to really expect anything. All I'm expecting is that people walk away with a smile and say, hey, she was good in the film. Happy birthday, Harish. You're my sweet, cuddly, waddly bear, aren't you? Isn't it adorable, guys? It's been a very long journey, but it's been uh, rough, but it's also been fantastic and amazing, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I hope you don't think this is uh, a date. You're different, Harry. More than anything else, I think the cast and the crew and everybody else that you can see right now, this is really honest to God, it's real teamwork. Hello. I have found the one for you. Hi. I'm getting married. Really? Everything is set. Acceptance and more work, definitely. Always more work. I hope people like it and they catch, we catch their attention and they offer us more work. But more, most importantly, that people enjoy it, connect to it, and respond to it. Her name is Nita Shah. She's 22, starting to be an architect like me. And the best part is, she's crazy about children and animals. So are pedophiles and sex offenders, dude. So what makes this movie different than any other movie you've ever done? Uh, one thing, of course, is that I have all the pretty girls around me in this movie, right? And uh, because I'm a lingerie designer, so um, uh, I have models and things around me. So, well, uh, it was great fun shooting, right? But also, what, what I thought about this movie, what, what's different about this movie is, it really is the original, the proper crossover film. All I'm saying is, how do you know you picked the right woman if you have nothing to compare her to? This young man who was born and raised here, but then he, you take it back to India, so the, the uniqueness of the two cultures is, is what's lovely about this film, yeah. This guy is going to get married. Everything's all right, right? And you You are going on the ultimate blind date. I'm really excited. I think we've all worked so hard for this. Um, the filmmakers have worked extraordinarily hard, and we're ready for it. We're excited to bring this to the public. It's a wonderful story, and we can't wait to hear what people think. It's not like I didn't see this coming. So we know the movie has played over various festivals. Um, tell us some of the response that you received. Um. We've been sold out at every single one of them, so it's been amazing um, that the audience has really liked the film. And at the London Asian Film Festival last month, we won the Audience Choice Award for Best Film, and that was really heartwarming. And then we also won the Best Crossover Film, and we won the Best New Talent. So we've been uh, fortunate that uh, we've received some sort of a recognition that the whole cast has worked so hard for. And we'll love her once we're married. I need to ask you something. If you ever hurt my precious flower, I'll have you ground to the dust you came from. Okay. <laughs>